Hey, Lin, my skin daughter. It is good to smell your scent again. You requested my presence, Fur Father? Yes, Kaylin. I have an invitation of too much consequence to impart by way of messenger. I approach Har Kwan, the time of passing, when I will add my experience and my essence to the infinite river of Gulf Spirit. But you are still virile and strong. Surely there are many moons before you would even consider. Enough, child. Enough. You know it is our way to undertake Har Kwan well before we become burdensome to the pack. You are like one of our own. It would please me greatly if you return for the ceremony. I am honored by your request, Fur Father. I will be there. Please carry this invitation to your father as well. He has always been a friend to the pack and to all Gurf. I will send a message to you at the proper time. Rawl told me the pack has lost contact with my father. Do you know where he is? No, Kalen, I don't. He's been missing since the specters first appeared in the wood. My scouts continue to sniff for him, but without success. I don't mean to show ingratitude for your hospitality, Kerfalak, but I must return home and find my father. I understand. A pup's first duty is to her own pack. Pack leader, may I go with Kalen? Two warriors stand a better chance than one. <laughs> we guess, Rahl. You may go with your skin, sister, but have a care and avoid the specters if possible. I must warn you, there is a serious danger in the wood. They appear to be specters of a natural origin, capable of stealing a creature's spirit with merely a touch. The body lives on, a mindless husk. I have summoned all the packs to the ancestral den. By coming together, hopefully, we can protect our people from this evil. Is there any way to defeat or kill a specter? None that we know of. They move quickly and have no scent. So even evasion is difficult. Rahl will return to the pack soon, Fur Father. I give you my word on it. Take care of each other. Keep your ears to the ground and your muzzles to the wind.